So, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bacon Lord. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to use NVIDIA filters, as well as how to use a tuning and CFG file in order to do things such as uh, making it a little bit more competitive uh, for you. You may have seen people who seems like they can see a little easier or perhaps um, you'll notice they have lesser resources on the screen. So it's, it's uh, basically making the game run at its highest capacity possible. So you have the most frames. So this is gonna give you the highest frames you can get uh, almost, there are ways to get higher frames, but it really, really gives the game. Um, however, in doing this, it will make your game look worse, but it will um, make things a bit easier to see and, and to distinguish. So first things first, uh, what are NVIDIA filters? And what is a CFG tuning file? Um, all of these things are completely fine to do. PGI has stated that they're fine with it, it is whitelisted to do, as in you can mod these things, you can change them, you can tweak it as you like, you will not get banned, you will not be penalized. There's a zero chance of that currently happening. Uh, happening. That could change in the future, but I highly, highly, highly doubt that. This is never gonna change. It's always gonna be fine. Um, so first things first, and we'll start with the easiest thing. It's gonna be the NVIDIA filters. In order to utilize NVIDIA filters, you're going to have to have a graphics card, specifically an NVIDIA graphics card that supports uh, NVIDIA filters. Uh, and to the best of my knowledge, that is 10 series cards or higher, so like a 1060 or above. Uh, so if you have at least a 1060 or I believe even like a 970 graphics card, you can use NVIDIA filters. So you just need to go to NVIDIA's website and download the latest latest version of GeForce Experience and um, have that running in order to do NVIDIA filters. So once you have GeForce Experience up and running and you're in game, you're gonna want to, let me switch my thing here. Okay. You're going to want to hold uh, Alt and press C Your game's gonna look the same when you hit this as when you aren't. So you're gonna hit Alt-C, you're gonna go to Game Filters, and you're gonna notice you're gonna have um, all these different filters you can have. And this is your personal preference. This is not um, like you must do this. So what I recommend you do is you go into a match. So we're gonna go into the Mech Lab, enter Testing Grounds, and let's think of a good map that we might have a hard time seeing across. So you could think of, um, let's see, what is a good map? We could do Forest Colony Classic. And you're basically doing this to look at things in the distance and adjust things accordingly. So I wanna say there's a mech on the back wall of this map somewhere you should normally be able to see it is I probably should have found this earlier there's a mech oh there it is okay so there's a mech I'm aiming at right now you know if you didn't have your filters on that mech that I'm kind of keeping at the edge of the screen isn't the clearest thing to hit. Well, let's turn on our NVIDIA filters. Now, right away, I can already see that mech. Even with just normal zoom, I can tell that there's a mech right there. We advance zoom, mech's a little easier to see. So, it's basically, you're just making things kind of pop a little bit. You're getting sharp edges. It's just kind of making, you know, it easier to distinguish the background from the foreground, you know, just kind of helping you see 
changing the color scheme so not everything is that muddled brown. So we'll go back, game filter. Okay, so you look, everything's kind of like this washed out yellow, okay? It's a bit more blue, but you can adjust this. So you're gonna ask, oh, what kind of filter should I have? So this is what I like. I like using Sharpen Plus and Details. Um, I will take screenshots of all of these settings and post them in my Discord. My Discord will be in the uh, information of this video. You can check it out uh, for these settings, but they, they do not need to be exact. You can tweak these as you like. Um, even as you see you do this, it's gonna make things pop a little bit more or less. So this is just kind of like, you know, what I roughly like. Make sure you turn bloom off because it's terrible. Um, the one that you probably will want to tweak more than the rest is gonna be color. You may want a little bit more vibrance or less vibrance, just depending on like what is easiest for you. So again, personal preference. But once you have this done, you can just hit escape or close out of it, and you have your filter on. So that'll be saved forever. I recommend that you take a screenshot of your filters that you like. So open them up and take a screenshot and save that screenshot. Because every time you update your NVIDIA GeForce experience, it's gonna reset your filters. And every time you reset your filters, um, you're going to be like, oh, what were they before? So you can have your screenshot. You can make it again really quick, 10 seconds. So an important thing to note is your in-game settings. You're going to want to go to game. You want to make sure you have uh, enable cockpit class disabled. If you don't have it uh, disabled, you're going to have this weird filter like... From a competitive standpoint, this is a disadvantage. And the purpose of this video is to give you um, to be the most competitive possible. So we want this cockpit glass off. So turn the cockpit glass off. Anything over that. The other thing you want is you want to go to video and you want your gamma maxed out. So make your gamma maxed out. Your brightness you can do what you prefer. But your gamma needs to be maxed out. Uh, these are some settings that I'm currently running. You can imitate them if you like, but you do not have to do this. These are just my personal preferences. I highly recommend you have motion blur off, obviously. Um, you do not want that on. Okay, so that's basically it for NVIDIA filters. Um, and the in-game settings, it's it's pretty simple. There's nothing too crazy about it. Um, what we can do is go on to the more fancy thing, which is going to be the CFG file. Now you're gonna notice from this view right here that if I'm trading with, oh, where is it at? Down there, if I'm trading with this guy, um, you know, I can't really see him right now. Where is he at? Okay, I can see him kind of through trees and whatnot, you know. Hey, look at all these effects. What is going on in this view right now? We have so much going on, all these things floating and bobbing and the water effects. This is hurting your frames. Your frame rate will take a hit from this and this will affect your performance. So this is when we move on to the CFG file. So we're going to leave this. Now we're back in MechLab, and we're going to go into CFG file. So you're going to want to do this. You can do this when the game's running. It doesn't matter, um, but you probably want to do it when the game is not running. So you're going to want to download uh, the CFG file, which is a configuration file, and the tuning file, which is basically telling the game engine to run the configuration file. And you're going to put these both or Steam directory. So depending on where your Steam is uh, installed, you're going to want to look for Steam. The rest of this here, it might be different for you, but it's always going to be Steam, Steam apps, common, MechWarrior Online. 
And what you're looking for is um, these two ones, the user and the tuning file. So the tuning file, it's literally just saying execute user.cfg. That's easy. Um, I will have links to these uh, in my description of the video, and they will also be on my Discord. And then the user one is the meat and potatoes. So this is the Mr. Vod MWO config file. Um, there's a big Reddit thread on this, but basically you can change all of these settings. Um, some of them have notes, some of them do not have notes on what they do, but this is my personal, the way this is set is what I personally like. Um, you can use this config file to make the game settings better than what they can be currently at a more taxing rate of your computer. You can make, uh, you can change when objects pop in and out. Uh, some people are like, oh, things pop in and out far away. You can you can kind of tweak those values with this, but it's going to take some time to go through and to do that. Um, there's a lot of notes in this, and there's a lot of research that can be had. However, I'm not going to go into that. This is a short and sweet how to just literally do it so that you are using less resources or at a higher competitive level uh, due to it. Um, so basically, you're going to take this user uh, in tuning file and you're going to drop them where they are here. So into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Mech Warrior, they just go right into this. So once you have pasted these files here that you have retrieved from my Discord, the only thing you have to do is enter the testing grounds. So we're going to do that again and we're going to go back to the same map. It's going to be Forest Colony Classic. You're going to notice something a little different this time. Maybe not because they haven't loaded. But they will um, not have like... Okay, so it partially loaded. So sometimes um, it's a little wonky. It's not like super perfect. But some of the trees are gone. And... There's no water. Also, some of the textures will be changed, the way that the, the game kind of handles processing of textures will change. And this basically um, will get you more frames. If you notice, I have over 200 frames now. Whereas before I had 150, I want to say 150 frames. I had to go back and look, but my frames have gone up by 25%. Just looking at the water, I have much higher frames. Looking more inland, the frame rate's a little lower, but this is still a significant um, improvement in the performance of your client. So once you install, or should I say drag and drop the config file, there is something you have to do every single time you play, and that is enter the testing grounds, and that preloads the config file. Not a lot of people do this or know, but this basically loads it. Um, some people say that you don't need to do that, but for some reason, when you do this, it loads other parameters on the config file that not doing it doesn't. I haven't like tested this a ton, but I have noticed that when you enter test, it doesn't matter what map, you could literally just enter testing grounds, just like this, and then you leave. It doesn't matter what map you do, you just load, you just enter it and leave, and that loads the config file, and now it, it's basically loaded, and you're good to play for the day. So every time you launch the client, just enter the testing grounds, leave, and you're good to go. Um, if you want to know more information about more of the variables on the CFG file, you're gonna have to do some research on that. Um, if you search for Mr. Vod, uh, CFG Reddit, you're going to see a Reddit thread about this. There's a whole bunch of posts on the MechWarrior online forums. There's a lot of information everywhere about this. Uh, so this is going to conclude this video. And yeah, look forward to seeing you all and have a good day.